like to thank everyone that helped put this event together. Uh, uh, Multicultural Office, uh, State Campus Ministry, every, everybody, all the raffles and stuff, everyone that put it together. Thank you. You should all clap for them. Like, clap now. So, I have a lot of stories, but I only have, like, this much time to tell them. People that know me, they know I like food. Yeah. Woo! Food! Yeah. And people that also know me know I don't like animals eating my food. So, I got one of those stories. Freshman year, I used to like to cook food, because, you know, cafeteria used to close early. No meal plan. It was horrible. So, I was cooking in the kitchen, and I hear some noise coming from the living room area. I'm thinking maybe somebody, you know, came into the apartment, we used to leave our door open. You didn't even know. So I come in, in the living room. I see that the screen is open, like the window screen. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? I'm like the only one here. And I swear, I'm not lying about this. There was a squirrel, a squirrel in the apartment with his beady little eyes and his fat, hairy tail. And he's just like... <laughs> so I look at this squirrel and he looks at me. It's like a standoff. Like I'm just like, hmm. And it's like... <laughs> and after about a moment's... Notice, he made the first move. He ran toward the kitchen. <laughs> Wasn't having that. There was a lot of noise. I chased him around. He moved back and forth. But in the end, he knew better. Jumped out the window. And then stuck my head out the window and said, good for you. But I kind of screamed it, but I can't scream it on the microphone, because you know, ah, like that. <laughs> But a bunch of people outside did see me screaming or whatever. I don't remember who it was. And I was just like, oh, just screaming, you know, lungs, fresh air. Thank you.